Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where last night I made a post on my YouTube community asking you guys what knife did you want to see a review of today? The options were the Wee Beacon and the Civivi Synergy 3. And it was a close, close vote. There was almost 200 votes cast last time I checked, which was just a half hour ago or so. Um, and 53% to 47% voted for this knife right here, and that is none other than the Wee Beacon. So we're going to be taking a look at this guy today. And, I, and to be honest, guys, I was really hoping this was the knife that you guys voted for. Because I, I like the Sabibi Synergy. You'll see, you know, for, for, the, for the people that want to see the review of that, I will post that one tomorrow. I will upload it on Saturday. So you'll see that one soon enough as well. Um, this one, though, I was really, really hoping it was going to win the vote because I have uh, I have fallen for this knife quite hard um, it is not perfect I have a I have a major rip to throw on this knife not so much on this knife but to we because I, I have a problem with what we is doing right now um, we'll get to that but first let's take a look at some overall specs on this knife we have an overall length of 7.87 inches, a blade length coming in at 3.5 inches with a cutting edge right at 3.3 inches, a blade width of one inch with a blade thickness of 130 thousandths and a blade material of CPM 20 CV, which is right there on the blade. And we have a drop point style blade with a flat grind, a handle length coming in at 4.37 inches and a handle thickness coming in at 420 thousandths. Handle width on this guy is 910 thousandths with a handle material of titanium with a frame lock locking mechanism and a user of a left or right hand tip up carry with a weight coming in at it, what I find a very reasonable 3.65 ounces and a price that is debatable with some of the with, with the main issue this with this knife has and we'll touch on that but the price is one hundred ninety nine dollars and seventy five cents um yeah i not bad could be better should be better or something needs to be fixed and we'll hit that in just a second but first i also want to let you guys know that this knife is brought to you by this this episode has brought to you by white mountain knives look them up for all of your knife and edc needs save 10 percent off any order through white mountain knives with this code right here wsw10 and thank you to the viewer that commented on one of my videos and said hey you really should just uh change that little advertisement card you have for it because it's really hard to read and it's kind of pointless and uh yeah to that viewer you're right i told i, I replied back to him i said i've been meaning to do that for so long i look at it um, almost daily and say man i need to change that i never changed it never changed it but uh i got called out on it so then i had to change it so thank you for that um but there's that and here's this let's look at some size comparisons with this knife because i love this length the overall size of this knife it is very very good and uh, let's get right into it. Here we got a couple that I think will be really well for a lot of people. The TRM Adam, as well as, and this one threw me off. So this is the Civivi Brazen, obviously, and I did not, it didn't hit me. When I first pulled this beacon out of the box, it didn't hit me just how similar the handle was to this guy the only real difference here is i mean obviously there's some like some rounding in certain areas but the thickness this handle is slightly thicker uh i don't remember the exact spec um if this is 420 thousandths i'm guessing this is somewhere between 500 530 thousandths so a little thicker but just a very very similar overall handle profile obviously pretty drastically different blades with the fuller and the thumb stud and even the overall blade profile itself um but a perfect comparison right there easily the best comparison i have right here and then in terms of, of the handle thickness it's very similar to the trm adam so some really good size comparisons there and we have two more uh, a couple wees i'm assuming if you like this knife you probably have some other wees in your collection uh here we have the wee snacks mini buster and we also have to go with that uh one of my favorite wees the Wii Esprit, Ray Laconico design, and as you can see, kind of in the middle of those two are really, actually, yeah, it's on par with the Mini Buster, uh, slightly bigger than the Esprit. 
So there's our size comparisons. And man, guys, let's get into this because this knife, um, it's, it's, I want to say different, but it's also, it's super simple. There's not, there, there, there's no, no crazy new, you know, feature or anything on this. It's just classic. It is good. Personally, I find this to be one of the most gorgeous Wii blades I've ever seen. Um, it, and it's just, it, it, it has, it's that little touch of sleekness with that nice fuller that kind of fades off. The drop point is very crisp and clean. A beautiful edge on this guy coming in at 17 thousandths makes it very slicey. You have a very nice tip, which is not dainty. Uh, it would be very good for basically any EDC task as long as you're not using this thing as a pry bar. Um, this is a very, very nice blade. And I, I gotta admit, I did see, uh, I watched Knife Center's new new knives for every week I always watch. I, I love Knife Center's content. And I like listening to David C. Anderson talk because he's very, uh, he's very well spoken. Um, and he's very knowledgeable when it comes to knives. And he, he said it best. He said, the more simple designs brought to the market, the better. I couldn't agree more, especially when we're talking about we. We can have some outlandish designs, which are cool. I, I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. But to see what we can do on the simpler side uh, is very impressive, and I hope they continue to do that. I don't mind seeing the different designs, the more outlandish stuff, because I think that's kind of cool too. And to be honest, it's kind of rubbing off on me a little more, but you still can't beat a design like this. Just super clean. Really love the jimping and choil area. The jimping is some of the best jimping I've ever felt on a Wii. And then you also have that choil down here. It kind of reminds me of an enlarged elementum too. The way here, I've got my elementum here. Take a look at that choil area. They definitely took a note on this choil area from the elementum. It's virtually the exact same thing. I'm fine with that. No issue because it works and it's just really damn good. So I love the choil area. I love the jimping. Um, the blade to handle ratio is another thing that really stood out to me on this. It's it's about as good as you can get because you always have to have a slightly shorter blade when you're talking a folder because the tip has to be hidden in the bottom of the handle. But a blade to handle ratio doesn't really get much better than this. Um, absolutely perfect blade to handle ratio in my opinion. And a fuller that really couldn't be any better. We'll talk more about that when we get to the action because it really factors in there and in terms of just the fidget factor. But just a fantastic fantastic blade overall and uh one that uh i am just i'm really thrilled to see i think we're off to a really good start uh for 2022 at least in terms of we and some of the new knives that have come out already um very very nice blade here going into the handle and ergos for the most part uh the ergos are very good um overall i find this to be a very well balanced knife um, it's not, uh, perfectly balanced, but let's see. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's balancing right there. So pretty good balance, good feel in hand. Nothing feels too heavy. The handle and blade work very well together. So there's no weird weight dispersion. Um, definitely a thinner handle, which makes for a very comfortable carry. Um, it kind of like the TRM Adam, it does disappear a bit in the pocket. So I like that a whole lot. And I really like this area here, especially how it works with the choil. So when the blades open, obviously the lock bar moves in and you have this nice area here that is milled. It's got a nice little texturing there and it's not so much the texturing, but it's how thin this area gets. You can see it's contoured and it goes in. So when you're holding this with the choil, especially with the choil, and, and even with your index finger, it feels really good with your, uh, with your index finger wrapped around that area. But when you move up and go into the choil, and this area pushes kind of right into the crease of your middle finger. Um, that's an extremely comfortable grip. And it just, it, there's nothing I'd really change about it. Um, I wouldn't mind a little more thickness in terms of the scales themselves right here. Maybe a little more contouring instead of being flat because these are flat, uh, flat titanium handles. But if it was contoured, I think that would maybe feel a little better, but I don't really have any complaints the way they are now. Um, I really am happy with the ergos of this knife for the most part. And I also really enjoy the lines. Um, the lines are kind of subtle. There's nothing that really pops out, but they're they're just, they're smooth. They're knocked down just enough. And there's just enough going on to really work the blade that, that, that makes for a very pleasing aesthetic uh, overall to the knife. So really am a fan of that. 
Um, the black wash on the handle is very nice. I always prefer a black wash, especially this. This is a very nice, this is like a heavy black wash. So it's not a coating. Coatings, you get a scratch on a coating and you notice it. I mean, and obviously this is a knife that you're going to carry and want to carry a lot. So it's going to get some scratches on it. You're not, there's no getting around that. But when you have a heavy black wash, the scratches, they don't, they don't show as nearly as bad as they would on just a, a solid black coating. So I really like that. Always prefer that. Um, if I don't go with uh, just the raw titanium, I'm a big fan of raw titanium as well. Just like raw stonewash titanium is a very nice handle material. Um, but as it is, I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with the finish on this handle. Now my gripe. So if you want to, you can just start fast forwarding here. But I'm about to just, I, I'm kind of beside myself here. Because we have a extremely amazing knife. Um, in terms of build, quality, ergos, materials, aesthetics, if I didn't say that already, everything on this knife to me is absolutely on point. And then you have this monstrosity down here. And it's not so much a bent titanium deep carry clip. You guys know I like milled clips, but it's not what I'm complaining about. This here, this unrecessed, just slapped on their clip that we did, I... I'm trying to contain myself enough to where I don't get too out of line because I'm not trying to make enemies. I'm never trying to just purely insult a company because we does put a lot of care and quality into their into their knives, but this is just lazy. This is the laziest attempt at putting a clip on what's supposed to be a premium knife. So we knives are supposed to be a huge step up from Civivi knives, but then the problem is... <laughs> That it's just not the case. The problem is you have, the, the, what is the difference here between these two pocket clips outside of the holes on top? And I'm sure this probably isn't titanium, but it's, they're just unrecessed. They stick out. They're not attractive. I'm, I'm at a bit of a loss. I got to pull something out real quick. I should have had this ready, but I have a perfect example here that I want to show you guys. And you're going to get a quick little brief look at the Wii Synergy here because I, uh, this makes me question it even more. So here we have the Wii Synergy. You're going to see this tomorrow. I'm not going to say anything about it other than this clip. Huh, look at that. A recessed clip on a Civivi. This is a $93 Civivi, guys, with a recessed clip. Now, granted, it's the same bent over clip, whatever, but it's recessed. And how much nicer does that look compared to this $200 Wii Beacon? Half the price, but they can recess the clip on this one. Now, I get it that this one is not. This is just right hand only, and this is right or left. You know, okay, whatever, I get it. But when you're going to make a knife that's $200 and you throw some regular run-of-the-mill clip on it and you don't even recess it, if this was recessed, it would look a little better. I still, I, they, we knives need specialty clips. Like this Wee Snacks Mini Buster, it has its own clip and it is absolutely gorgeous. It works well, it feels good, there's no issues with it. You get to a clip like the Wii Esprit. This is more of your uh, somewhat typical bent over clip, but it's also different. It's curved. It's not the same clip. It's recessed. That's part of the price tag in this knife. You pay more for the luxuries of a recessed clip because you're buying a premium knife. You're not buying a budget knife. And why Civivi just took this careless, lazy decision to slap a regular clip on there and not recess it is beyond me. It's absolutely beyond me. Um, I'm really upset about this because I'll I'll say a little more why when we get to the when my overall thoughts. But I just I I'm just I'm beside myself. They did this. I'm I'm kind of pissed off about it to be honest. Because if I'm a premium knife maker and we're saying we're one of the best knife production companies, not just in China in the world, you can't do that. You absolutely cannot do that. It's out of line and it needs to be changed. We, you need to take a look in the mirror and if you're gonna, are you making premium knives or are you making budget knives? Because this is a budget knife feature on a premium knife. I have a real issue with that. I'll try and stop there and not talk about it anymore during, during this. But one solution that I will say is I wish if they're gonna do this, they've done this on more than just this knife now. They've done it on other knives and I really wish they would give other options. If they're going to do this and they're not going to recess it, then you know what? Start making some aftermarket milled titanium clips that we can add to this because I would love to have, 
you know, just a regular standard milled titanium clip or, you know, maybe a, a, a black Damascus clip that doesn't have a lot of color, but just a lot of black and darker grays and stuff that would look cool on this handle. But something, give us some options. If you're going to throw this garbage on a handle, give us some other options that even if we have to pay for it, at least there's options out there because the way it is right now, I'm just, yeah, I'm really upset about it. Um, ew talk really a little more about it my overall thoughts but big issue there not not happy um other than that the rest of the handle and ergo is is really it's it's completely on point for me i like Wii's hardware um i like the little touches everything else on it is good to go but yeah yeah stupid um going into the action the action is fantastic let's get back to the nice side of things and let's talk good things because this is fantastic action super smooth, almost glassy smooth on the clothes. I mean, this just so lightly shakes shut. And yeah, it's just, it, it's about as good as it can get, in all honesty. This is one of the, some of the best action I've ever felt on a Wii knife. Um, just super, super smooth. And the fuller adds a nice fidget factor to it. Very easy to middle finger flick with that fuller. And it's nothing I would change about that. Um, I like the flipper. I, you know, the flipper is placed just right. The jimping is done very well. They actually brought the jimping all the way down to the, you know, just under the flipper tab. So you don't need jimping here, anywhere here. But they have it everywhere where it needs to be. And it's very nice jimping. Bites the finger real well. So you can light switch it. Or you can also actually just push button it and it flies out, and it's very consistent action. Almost impossible to fail. Uh, no issue with any type of deployment with this knife. Couldn't be happier with the action, and just so, so nice to close. I almost enjoy closing this knife as much as I do deploying it, and I don't say that for a lot of knives, but just a very, very nice action on this knife. Really couldn't be much better. So that's the problem, is everything about this knife is fantastic. Even the the acoustics, it, it has more of a lighter, kind of glassier click. Very, very nice action. Um, every, sound, acoustics, very, very, very nice sound. Um, but yeah, everything about this knife is a home run for me. Personally, it's one of the best Wii knives I've ever handled, which makes me even more mad that there's such a carelessly slapped clip on the handle. Um, I'm going to try and... Give this, I don't know, I, I, I feel like it's not fair, but I like the overall knife so much, I'm, I am kind of giving it a pass because I'm, I'm keeping this knife. I mean, I really, really like this knife a lot. Um, with a new clip, with a better improved clip, in all honesty, um, I think this would be one of my favorite knives ever. I, and I, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not getting caught up in the moment here. This is just an excellent knife. It's a lot of what I look for in a knife, especially when you're talking just like a, a flipper and a fuller. Um, it's just so good and it's so clean. Um, it, it's one I'd definitely recommend. It's one that if you can get over the clip and you're okay with that, um, this is, in my opinion, already definitely going to be one of the best Wii knives of the year. I don't, I don't really care what else Wii comes out with. There's, I, I think it would be impossible for Wii to come out with three knives better than this one. I think this is definitely going to be a top three knife of the year and from Wii. Um, and it's a great start for them, but they need to wake up. I, I really hope we seize this. I, I hope they see this video and don't get offended by it, but take it to heart and put a little more thought into each model and not worry about just spitting out so many models, you know, model after model. And, you know, a nicer clip on this, I would rather have this knife over probably half of the Wii knives available, if not probably, hell, a lot more than that. But that's got to be fixed put a little more care into the details of a knife because a clip, a pocket clip is a huge part of a knife. And when you take such a shortcut and you just put such a blatant, lazy decision to throw that clip on there, big issue, big issue with me. But other than that, um, it's a fantastic knife. And like I said, I, I, I do really love it. Even though I hate the clip decision, I love the knife. Um, absolutely love it so i can't stress that enough let me know what you guys think what do you think of this knife what are your thoughts on the whole clip thing for 200 dollars, shouldn't you be getting a little nicer option of a clip if nonetheless at least recessed something i really want to know your thoughts on that let me know if i'm out of line but i just 
I, I, I want to keep the integrity and the value within the industry because I don't like what I'm seeing with this. I hope it doesn't trend to keep going that way. It needs to be looked at. It needs to be fixed moving forward. So I hope that happens. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and you're not, you haven't already fast forward and just left the video because I was complaining too much. But nonetheless, that is the Wee Beacon. It is a fantastic knife. It's one I'd highly recommend. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.